Welcome back to another video. As always, my name is Jasper. Now in this video today, what we're going to be covering is the new table containers. So it's a new container actually launched by Bubble um, probably about 12 hours ago, so it's about a day old. Um, so yeah, we're going to be walking through it. Uh, it's been asked by the general Bubble community for a long time for a table instead of having to make one every time. Um, so it's great that they finally delivered it. Thank you, Bubble team, for that. Um, also, you know, it's great to launch another video. I haven't done one uh, for quite a while. I've only done one video this year. So it's great to jump in and do another video as well. So, um, yeah, let's jump in. So you'll see on the left-hand side here a new little button called uh, Table. So it's under Containers. So we're going to grab one of those and drop it in. Um, so you're going to see here is that we've got the table automatically jumps out. So zero is actually the header, so that's where you put your header rows, so labeling the actual row um, and column that's there. And then on the next row, these are actually going to be the repeating items. So we're going to quickly just make something up here, just to have a play around with it. So let's grab a text element here, and we'll make the color of the text uh, black. So let's just go like that. Let's copy it. Drop one in here, and drop one in here. And let's give it a title, so let's just say name. Uh, let's call this one uh, email, and this one, let's say phone. All right, um, and then we're going to have to give it a content type. So for this example, um, actually we'll go item prices. Sorry, this is just a test um, server that I'm working off. So let's say do a search for uh, item prices and that's it, so no criteria. Um, let's actually make, let's say, this one can be the, actually let's just see what sort of options we have first. Eh? So let's grab another text container. So we're going to put it into the first rows. This will be, let's see, current rows item, and we'll make this the category. There we go. So that will be the category. Let's put that there. Great. And then this one will be, let's go, current row items. Let's call this one the item name. So let's say item name. And then this one here, let's see what else we've got. Go insert dynamic, current row, and we'll say weight. There we go. We'll call this one weight. Great. Okay, so that's it. So you'll see here we have the top one, that's the header rows. We then have the repeating rows, and then we've got uh, each repeating rows, current rows element. So let's go into preview and see what it looks like. Looks like it's taking us time to load. There, there you have it. So we've got desks, SMS straight, um, and 55 for weight. So these are pulling straight from the database. So really it's just that easy now to make uh, tables within Bubble, which is amazing because I've had to make about uh, five tables this week and it's very pain, uh, painful having to go through and make them from scratch every time. So um, that's great. Thank you to the Bubble team for doing that. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and also a subscribe. I do plan on be releasing a bit more videos at the end of this year, um, just to make up for not really releasing any uh, most of this year. But thanks for watching and see you on the next video.